If you're watching this video and you bought crypto in 2020, 2021, which I'm guessing a lot of us did, that's when a lot of people got into crypto, huge adoption happened during that time, then I do want to congratulate you. Hey, you have now been through one of the hardest parts of crypto, and that is the bear market cycle. Now, I want to preface this. I'm not saying the bear market cycle is over. I still think we have some more time before the market really gets going and starts recovering. But getting through these downtimes is one of the hardest things that you can do. It is so difficult to leave emotions on the side and not fud yourself out of your bag, right? When you see a chart that looks like this right here, oops, right there, drawing down from $69,000 all the way to $15,000 $15, for Bitcoin, it it's hard to do, guys. It is hard to hold on to things that long. If you sold towards the top and you're buying back now, congrats. A lot of people did not. A lot of people thought that the chart was going to continue to climb. They didn't realize these bear market cycles happen every four years, right on cue. Now, we're not through the end of this, okay? The bear market cycle is not done. You guys do have to remember that. We are still facing some bigger macro factors that are surrounding the crypto market. The great news is today, we got a positive GDP report. Yay! So we are moving in the right direction. This is two consecutive quarters of positive GDP. But we are still have rough times surrounding the entire crypto market and other markets outside of crypto. You know, we still have high interest rates. We still have high uh, inflation. There's still war, bro. There's still all these things that are affecting the way that the market is moving. And it's going to take some time to build back some steam to really get going. If you guys haven't noticed, Bitcoin is has kind of hit a wall at about twenty three thousand dollars. I honestly wouldn't be surprised if we maybe saw a slight leg up and saw a little bit of pullback. Okay, this isn't fought or anything like that. We just do need to probably retest some of the levels that we reclaimed this month. January has been a great great start to the year, but we still have a long way to go. There's still a long process climbing out of this hole that we've we've dug into. But the great thing is if we look at prior market cycles, we usually have three years of green, one year of red, three years of green, one year of red, right on cue. So naturally, this year should be a green year, which really shouldn't be that hard to do seeing as we entered the year on, on such a low note. I mean, if we look back, we entered the year at about 16 and a half K for Bitcoin. So really anywhere above 16 and a half K is going to be a green year, but there's still a lot of positivity flowing into the market. 2023, I think, is a great year for adoption. I don't think we're going to see these huge explosive prices this year. I think next year after the halving for Bitcoin, we could possibly see some great runs, and especially 2025. I think 2025 is when we'll probably experience the next you know, all-time high before we start to see the following market cycle. Okay, remember, every four years, guys. But Congratulations again. This has been tough. It is not easy, guys. This is actually, believe it or not, my first bear market cycle in crypto, at least. I've been through other market cycles in, in other you know markets as well, but you know this is my first one. And it trust me, it wasn't easy, but we have made it this far. I look forward to seeing how far we can get together through the next one. But I appreciate you guys as always. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Whoops. I keep smashing. <laughs> I keep turning off the subscribe button. Make sure you guys... Smash that like button, smash that subscribe button, show your support for the channel. Hopefully you guys have been enjoying all the content that I've been doing. Love bringing you guys this type of news every single day. And I hope you guys keep uh, stopping in and checking out the next one. So take care, have a great night, and I'll see you tomorrow.